His mom had just shown him Hillary's announcement video. I'm running for president. And suddenly, what went running down Zeke's cheeks were tears. <laughs> Take your knock out and tell us. I want to do a new It's official. He just threw his pacifier into the ring. Zeke for president. You think you're ready to be president? Yeah. Zeke Solello's parents used to be in Wisconsin politics. They're longtime fans of the Clintons. But has he ever expressed interest in running for president before? Never. And, you know, it's not one of those things that we've talked to him about. Um, you know, he's only three, so... What would you do if you were president? Play. Play? Toys. Now that's an agenda that could unite the country. Do you think maybe you can do that when you're a little older? No. That sounds familiar. I've heard some suggest that I should step aside and, and wait my turn. <laughs> Zeke's not eligible to run for president for another 32 years. Can you imagine if he actually ended up running for something? Oh my goodness. You know, the personality on this kid, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. He will go up and um, talk to anyone. Sure, you'd have to lose the pacifier on the campaign trail. There were biting comments about that. This kid is too old for a pacifier. Pacifiers cause overbites. But hey, if it's good enough for Vice President Biden. The last time we had a similar toddler meltdown was back in 2012. I'm tired of Barack Obama and Mitt Romney. But Zeke isn't sick of the candidates. He wants to be one of them. Vote for Zeke. Pacify America. I want to vote for President. Jimmy CNN. <laughs> A hundred and fifty years ago tonight, inside Ford's theater, John Wilkes Booth shot President Lincoln from behind as he sat in this chair. As Booth leaped from the box, his spur caught on this portrait of George Washington. He then fell to the stage. Injured, he hobbled this direction to get away. Across 10th Street, you can see the very gun Booth used, along with the coat and hat Lincoln was wearing. And especially the gun and the blood-stained items that are in this display. It's heart-wrenching. Although the gun is displayed in Northwest, this is the bullet. Other items related to the assassination are at the National Museum of Health and Medicine in Silver Spring. There are pieces of Lincoln's skull and hair, and the blood-stained cuffs of the surgeon who performed the autopsy. And puts them in that envelope. Many visitors have come here and to Ford's. And they can connect to something that happened so long ago um, in a very personal way. A terrifying end to Asiana Airlines Flight 162. In the final seconds of an hour and ten minute flight from South Korea to Japan, this Airbus A320 overshot the runway, turning a full 180 degrees. The plane with visible damage, carrying eight crew members and 73 frightened passengers, including an infant. The Japanese Transportation Ministry tells CNN at least 23 people have minor injuries. The accident closed Hiroshima Airport Tuesday night. One passenger says it felt like the plane was speeding just before landing. The plane came in very fast. What? And then as soon as it hit the runway, it just exploded. Like the wheels, they seemed like the wheel broke. Investigators are looking into early reports the airliner may have hit an antenna on the runway. Airbus, the plane's manufacturer, is also investigating. Asiana is the same airline that suffered a disastrous landing in San Francisco in 2013. Flight 214's pilots botched the approach and landing of this Boeing 777, killing three people and injuring 187 others. The crash raised serious safety questions about pilot training and procedure in Asia's booming airline industry. This latest hard landing is the sixth serious incident involving Asian-based airlines in the past 13 months, including February's crash of TransAsia Flight 235. Pilots turned off the wrong engine, sending the plane careening over a Taiwan bridge. 43 people died. It's still too soon to know if pilot error played a role in Japan the latest air scare in a region rattled by aviation disasters. Will Ripley, CNN, Tokyo.